Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a reading on P. Diddy. I'm going to get right into it. So first, I pull some cards on what is his personality. Like what type of person he is in general. So I do feel like he is a generous person to some people in his life. Maybe like the women that he dates. Or the man that he date or his children. He have a tendency to say yes to them when it comes to material things. So he is very generous with his wealth when it comes to people that he feel is close to him. But he do have a certain amount of loneliness even when it comes to his kids he really question um do the people around me really love me like if i didn't have anything would they love me would they still want to be around me would they still respect me so he deals with a deep sense of loneliness and I feel like that goes all the way back to his childhood where he kind of felt like he didn't belong. Like, <clears throat> he never really felt understood or felt accepted by people. Even though he has like a lot of fans it's like he desires a different type of love. I feel like <clears throat> he kind of forces himself to be okay with sacrificing certain things in order to have wealth but sometimes he wished that he could like go a day or a week with being broke just to see the people that would still be in his corner He also like for it to be constant change around him, like he could get bored pretty easily. So he always switching it up. He always breaking routines because he don't like to be stuck in any type of routine or pattern or he get bored and he disrupted or he could just feel the need for change right now in his life he need for something to switch up because he feeling very bored and almost destructive He also have a lot of feminine energy, very emotional, like he a type of person that love, love, like love for people to tell him that they love him and he love to say it. but his ideal of love could be a little bit twisted but he do have a deep sensitivity and he do have like a lingering pain from his childhood or not feeling fully accepted is kind of what pushes ambition now he worry about people loving him for him versus his money 
this is something that is on his mind quite a bit like even when it comes to his children he wonder like do these kids really love me and i feel like as he get older that becomes more important to him like i even having a visual of him like talking to his kids like oh y'all only call me when y'all want something you know like why don't y'all check up on me sometimes outside of just asking me for money y'all kind of spoil and everything like do y'all love me like it, it's something that really gets under his skin so and the person that he is right now is not the same person that he used to used to be um to real i don't really feel like he is that bad of a person um i feel like he know things i do but i feel like the situation is very complex like there are times that he tried to take a different route but he was kind of stuck in his position of things now he is a businessman and he can be greedy and i do feel like a, a coldness to people that's outside of his circle like if you're not somebody that he loves that he really cares about then he don't have no attachment to you like he could drop you like it's nothing and don't even look back and don't even feel no way about it and he kind of like train himself to be that way especially as he started to accumulate money and fame he had to set boundaries from people that he felt like may have been leeching from him like sometimes he sits up and he cries he cries but sometimes he felt like he in a fake world surrounded by fake people he don't really trust the people in the industry i feel like that he might go into acting or something like that and i'm feeling like he will play a role that is similar to what i'm saying right now like i feel like he will play a older man um going through like similar problems and stuff like that the ones that i'm talking about now i don't feel like this man is going to be a rich in any or anything he might be like a dad or something it might be a struggle love a struggle story or something like that but like i just see him like on a movie set or something like that it's like one of those emotional roles where he would have to cry and stuff like that and he will be playing this role to feel closer to things that he fantasizes about like he fantasizes a lot about a normal life um yeah he fantasized a lot about that like having like a normal life and everything 
it's almost like he felt like he has been corrupted by the industry and I feel like right now he's like doing, doing like a a deep cleansing like he going through some type of change or something he might be hitting like his second Saturn return or something like that but it's like a need for normalcy or something like that a need to be loved for something deeper than money or a need to be accepted for all parts of him because right now he felt lonely and he might be even a little clingy with his kids. Like, wanting them to come check up on him more. Like, sometimes he go deep into this energy of self loathing where. He can only remember like traumatic times. Um, it's a dark, it's a dark space for him. And um, sometimes he deal with anxiety. And he do feel like he's hunted by some of his past mistakes. And sometimes he wished that he could make it better, but, like, he can't at this point. So, I'm asking, like, how do he view life right now, and what are some of his regrets that he have? So, right now, he's going through a transformation, and it's pretty major, and it's for the better. Um, I'm actually feeling like he may open up more about certain things that happen in the industry as he go through this transformation. He may even start to work again, maybe like in the studio. I feel like that he might go to acting. I've never seen him act before, but this visual that I'm getting, he seems to be very good at it so the regrets that he have is taking so long to change and I feel like he missed certain people that he used to date um he missed that Cassidy girl and he missed the mother of his children But it do seem like he's ready to move on from it. But he feel like he may have misjudged Cassidy. And he didn't appreciate certain things. Because he was so focused on business and money. And chasing a bag. That he missed out on something that he actually really wants. He kind of wants to be in a dedicated relationship now. You might even see him start dating. I feel like he already been dating, but the females that he been dating had turned out to be gold diggers or they only care about his money and stuff like that. And that frustrates him. I do feel like he has intimate relationship with men. And I mean, it, some of them are 
intimate on really deep levels like he liked to be held he liked to be hold hands and stuff like that like he liked affection he do so real quick i'm asking about his relationship with men later on i would get more into detail because i wrote down a few people that he known to have some type of relationship with so um when it comes to men um it's almost like he's slightly religious he just has certain principles um, and boundaries that he feel very concrete on that limit him from like marrying a man or being out in public with a man so when he dealing with men he have like a lot of boundaries to it he even like have that mentality that if i sleep with a man and i'm the top that doesn't make me gay like i'm only gay if i'm the bottom something like that but it's some type of change occurring in him that he's starting to think differently about that i feel like he meeting up with somebody maybe like a guru or something like that and it's changing Cause I feel like it's a woman and I feel like it's a man and they like talking to him and it's like they breaking in the doorways of why do you perceive things the way that you perceive things and I feel like what either one or both of them he admitted to having relationships with a man and him feeling bad about it he feeling ashamed about it because he was holding on to certain stereotypes of what a black man should be and that's why he even created these type of principles in order for him to still feel like a man even though he have those type of interests he actually a very deep person with deep emotions um he even sensitive to sounds and vibrations um, he do have an ear for music like he could catch a certain tempo that other people would miss and it's due to his sensitivity to energy so I felt like he even seeked out this guidance because he was on the verge of a mental breakdown so he had to talk to somebody in order to be able to be functional again and I'm feeling like it had to do with the COVID lockdown I feel like that had like a very profound effect on him like put him in a deep depression because before that he was so used to distracting himself with certain things parties relationships um moving around to different locations 
he used to do a lot to keep himself distracted but during that time he kind of had to face himself and it was about to drive him crazy so I'm seeing a woman and I'm seeing a man and he talking to them like they some counselors or something like that um for some reason I want to say the word guru because I feel like these might be some like spiritual leaders or something like that okay so it's the next day so um if the energy is different it's because I'm in a different space but I went to some website to see like people that P. Diddy is associated with. Um, I try to figure out some things that people may be interested in knowing about. So let's start with Jay Z. Alright, so P. Diddy and Jay-Z came together to maximize their potential. They felt like if they combined together, either on music or some type of project, that they can create something powerful. So that was the main focus of them even getting together. It was business. It was business and but it, was, it had a lot of secrets in it but it's like they both was aware of the secrets they just refused to talk about it I feel like it's like um just the secrets of the industry I feel like they have a similar path of how they got ahead and got on top because they did have to make a lot of sacrifices, energetic, which could be signing certain contracts. It could be death in the family. It could be leaving certain people behind. It could be anything. But either way, they had to do it in order to either get themselves out of a situation that was created. A lot of times when rappers, entertainers, or whatever, they starting to get really big. And let's say that they was good businessmen and they had a lot of a lot of control over their resources they will put them in a certain situation that would push them to sign their life over like they will put you in jail they will set it up to put you in jail and then they would come in here and be like look we get you out of jail if you sign this contract and a lot of times they will sign it that's how they gain control over a lot of people actually um i felt like they had even bigger plans together um i felt like they even talked a little about how to get out of certain contracts and how to build something together it could have been like a joining of a label or something like that because i don't remember any jay-z or and pdd songs but some type of project when they first met they was planning on doing a project together but 
and I feel like they did it. I feel like they end business together, like they filter money through each other in some type of way. I feel like Jay-Z turned on him. I feel like there was something that they were supposed to work together doing business, and Jay-Z was being fraudulent. Or it could be still in motion. They could be working on something. But in the background, Jay-Z is working with people against P. Diddy. For selfish reasons. I don't feel like Jay-Z is being truthful with P. Diddy. Um, if it's not, if PDD is not careful, um, it could end up in tragedy, which I already feel like, um, PDD already came aware to certain things. So now I kind of feel like they kind of play nice. It was almost like Jay-Z was um, planted in P. Diddy life just to get certain information. Um, P. Diddy thought they was coming together on a project and Jay-Z knew since the beginning that he wasn't really planning on doing business with him. And let me get more into it. Alright, I don't believe that they talk to each other anymore. I don't think that they cool anymore. I feel like when they first got together, they had plans to work together to build something very successful. And I feel like it would have been... They would have promoted it as being black owned and for the black community and stuff like that. Something got between them and I think it's greed. I feel like um, something was interjected on Jay Z's side. Somebody either got into his ear or there was some type of negative projections, um, negative talk. And then he kind of went cold on Jay-Z. But it's also had something to do with the mental, the mentality. Um, as in, it's something that has to do with this situation that almost made P. Diddy go crazy. Um, maybe even crazy and paranoia, like feeling like people was out to get him. Because he found out some information when it came to this situation that really made him feel on edge. It really stressed him out. And after some time, that like became the purpose but it almost felt like a ghosting situation on um jay-z behalf i do not see romance here like i don't get a romantic vibe so i don't feel like they had that type of relationship but at one point they was friends and they was building on something big but greed got between it. Alright, so P. Diddy and J. Lo. I felt like he was infatuated with her. Like when he seen her, he really wanted her as like a commodity. He felt like she would be good for business. She would look good on his arm. And he would gain some sense of power or respect for having her because... Um, I'm seeing that green dress. 
or maybe it was blue. It was some dress that she wore and people went like crazy about it. And he was one of them. He was one of it. Um, I'm not sure if he was with her before or after that. But that's like a, a major factor. Also, P. Diddy was a lot different at this point. He was more immature and selfish. And did things for very superficial reasons. I feel like he even hurt somebody that he cared about to be in this relationship. He threw somebody else, else under the bus to be in this relationship. And I feel like at first, uh, J-Lo, she wasn't interested. And he worked hard to get her and promised her a lot to get her. He has some guilt and regrets around this relationship. And it's around the relationship. It's not, I don't feel like he has guilt and regrets about her. But other situations that was that was affected by this relationship. He was very superficial. Like he really wanted to get her to feel important. Even to maybe make people jealous. I felt like he spent so much money on her. But this relationship stressed her out. Like she was stressed out. Damn, I felt like. She was exposed to a lot in the industry, but when she got with him, like new doors opened and she was exposed to even more. I think at times she felt like even afraid of him or afraid of people that was around him. There were some things that she didn't like about him, but she knew how infatuated he was with her that it's like she tried to play little games to get him to change, play little games, maybe even threaten to leave or to walk away so that he could change now at first it kind of worked it but after some time it was kind of like who do you think you is so when she started to play these games it like he would become worse it was so bad that um after like being seen in public with him, after agreeing to be in a relationship, after that was established, it's like he did something that made her feel like she was kind of stuck in that situation. And she not, not only was she stuck, but she wasn't gonna get what she wanted out of him. I actually believe she created that situation that happened. Um, it was like a club shooting or something like that. I feel like she created that situation in order to get out of this relationship. And for it to not like mess up her reputation. Because he was starting to get like a little disrespectful 
I mean, no, not a little, like a lot. Like he started to like bring girls in front of her face and stuff. Uh, I'm seeing him drunk by a pool and he telling her what he truly think of her. Ooh. It was kind of harsh too, but it had some truth in it. It was kind of harsh. It had stuff to do with um Hmm. Her ego. She did have a, a big ego, but so did he. But he felt like she had an ego for the wrong reasons. I mean, he wrong on that, but that's how he felt. And he felt that just because she was a Latino woman, that she felt like she could get or treat him any type of way. Because he started to feel like she treated him different than she treated, I don't know who she dated before him, honestly. But he felt like she treated him different and disrespectfully. He also felt like she didn't really like black people. He felt like that. Yeah, but he became kind of narcissistic towards her, mentally, emotionally abusive. And she was starting to feel stuck. He was real disrespectful to her. Especially when it came to like drinking. He have an issue of drinking and becoming belligerent. So she started to plot of how to get out of this situation because for some reason she was really worried about her career. Like if she left him, it would make her look a certain type of way or something. It was something like that. So she started to plan to escape. I want to know why he had her soul stuck. Like... It was due to abuse. Um, at some point, like, she might not have wanted him at first, but when he did eventually get her and kind of, like, love bomb her, um, she started to develop feelings. And then he started to eat away at her self-esteem. It became, it turned into a codependent relationship abusive on multiple levels I feel like it was even physically abusive sometimes um, I feel like he may have even sexually assaulted her before when he was drunk forced her into intercourse when she didn't want to made her feel like he had more power than he actually did made her feel like really stuck in this situation and it really took her love of self to get out of it Um, spiritually though, they were supposed to go through this situation together and they both mature from it in some type of way. It was a situation that, especially for her, I felt like it, it made her stronger when she left because I do feel like it was abusive. 
and that may be some of his guilt because he tried all types of abusive tactics to keep her with him even emotionally abusive he wasn't a good person at this time in his life he wasn't a good person All right, so him and Kim Potter, they had a deep relationship. They was strongly attached to each other. If they believed in the concept of twin flames, they would have thought that they was. Because it's like they had a hard time not coming back together. Even though when they came together, a lot of times it was toxic. But they had a, a bond that was hard for other people to understand. And I do feel like they was friends. Um, he is a very toxic person to be in a relationship with. It may be changing. Like, if he get into a relationship now, um, because he has went on a spiritual journey and he gone through a major change, he might not treat the people that he date now like he used to. But back in the day, he was very toxic to be in a relationship with. But he felt very attached to her. Yeah. Yeah, he treated her the worst just because he was so attached to her. It was an energy between them that constantly pulled them together. She felt like she had to walk away from her own peace of mind, uh, self-respect, because P. Diddy have the tendencies of being kind of sadistic. Like, it would be so out of nowhere, out the blue. Um, and I feel like a lot of it was triggered by alcohol and drug abuse, but it was very stressful for her, even though she knew that they had a connection. And I also feel like she was very intuitive. She was very smart as well, like, um, she really knew how to stimulate his mind. I feel like she could have even been into music, like she had a good ear for music or a good um, knowing of talent. So she was somebody that he brought into his life and was able to integrate her into some of the businesses. And she had the mindset to handle it. So he had like a lot of respect for her, but he has a lot of turmoil inside of him that, um, when it comes to the surface, it's like he's a completely different person. He do have a side of him that is very sweet. But especially in his younger years, he was destructive. So even... Either he had something to do with her death 
uh, he felt like he did. He felt like, oh, maybe he didn't listen when she was trying to tell him something. Or maybe he took too long to react to something. So he felt like he do have something to do with it. Um, it did trigger him to want to change. Like after that, it's like he couldn't really take any more of the lifestyle that he was living. I do feel like a sense of gratitude from him about her. Like he felt like he learned a lot through her. He's in a very spiritual state right now where he's reflecting on a lot of his life decisions and trying to come to terms with it. Trying to cleanse his energy of the guilt and the shame that he feels. I feel like he never stopped messing with her though. Even though he was in other relationships, I felt like he still was intimate with her sometimes. If it wasn't physically, then it was emotionally. He would communicate with her in an intimate type of way. He did care about her, but PDD is kind of complicated because he has a lot of pain inside of him and he has a lot of vices things that distract him but now he's on this spiritual change because if he didn't take this route to change spiritually he would have went crazy it's like he was on the verge of losing his mind all right so the relationship between diddy and lee daniels a very sexual relationship yeah they had sex together i was getting a visual of it before i could shake it off but is very passionate um i don't really feel like lee daniels is the type to settle down like i feel like he like to have boy toys and stuff like that which is something that him and diddy have in common but they have a lot of chemistry a lot of chemistry I feel like they have some of the best sets that they ever had in their life together. It sometimes become even addictive. Like they meet up and have like these crazy sexual experiences together. Is something that they enjoy to do. <laughs> I feel like they do drugs together. And have so many kinks. They in tune when it comes to the kinks. Like. Um, bondaging. Tying each other up. Um, yeah, very intense orgasms. It's almost like, um, Lee Daniels and him, I feel like they've been messing it with each other for a minute. 
And I felt like nobody could really understand P. Diddy on a sexual level um, like Lee Daniels do. So they have very intense and great sex together. It almost want to make Diddy fall in love, but he has certain rules in place when it comes to men. So, um, and Lee Daniels don't mind, but that is kind of like what makes him so attractive to P. Diddy because Lee Daniels are like looking for the same things. Okay, what's the relationship between them? See the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, heal. The part that stood out to me is being lighthearted. Like, he keep it on the surface, he keep it light. But when they in that bedroom, it's pretty deep, it's passionate. I wonder what Lee Daniels' zodiac sign is. Mmm. I felt like... He was feeling like he was falling in love with Lee Daniels at one point. Like this is perfect match. He felt like that at one time because just because of the sets. He felt like the sets was amazing. Bottom of the deck, addictions. That life that he's addicted to, P. Diddy, he felt like him and Lee could live that life together in peace. Okay, the passion card came out. And Lee Daniels, he know kinks. And it's not just his. I feel like Lee Daniels, since very young, was messing with Hollywood men. I don't know his backstory. I don't know if he was raised in the industry. But he has a lot of experience with Hollywood men. And he know exactly what they like. He know what they like on a very deep psychological level as well. Like sometimes he would cuddle him and hold him like Lee Daniels would hold P. Diddy. And that would bring him a lot of comfort. It's like he knows what their wounded inner child needs to feel alive again. Oh, child. Oh, my goodness. And the bottom of the deck is love. Like, there's a real attachment to them. I wouldn't be surprised, like, in the future, P. Diddy is, like, going to come out the closet and him and Lee Daniels, like, going to get married. And trust and believe they're going to be having some of the kinkiest parties that you've ever seen in your life. Ever seen in your life. Like, I really wouldn't be surprised. I 
All right, so Lee Dan's going to come out. He want to talk about this relationship. There is love and romance here. Ain't going front. Um, but it's like he, he has an understanding. He not sure if the world is completely ready for that. But it's kind of like he want them to step out together and be an example or something. But he how his he has his doubts, he has his fears, and he understand that Diddy do too. He also understand that this could damage either his career or reputation in some type of way. Not Lee Daniels, but P. Diddy. He had feelings for him, but it's a conflict. It's a real deal conflict internal to him. Um, if he do decide to come out and talk about it, it will take a lot of time and it will take a lot of self work, self discovery, self acceptance. For him to come out and talk about this because he kind of stuck in his ways especially when it comes to a situation like this and sometimes he push lee daniels away sometimes he push him away because he afraid of how he feel but there is an attachment especially to Pididi the sex is great to him it's like he really can't get enough of it so he always come back for more all right so I'm going to try to go through this one a bit quickly, Cassidy and Diddy. So in a relationship, she felt like she had to sacrifice a lot. She also felt like she couldn't satisfy him. I feel like she may have even known about Lee Daniels and other people. And that became very exhausting to her. It got to a point that she felt like she couldn't keep up with P. Diddy lifestyle. Because he liked the party. He liked it. Like. And he really busy. He's real busy. He liked to keep himself distracted. If he's not distracted, then he get antsy. And he would do like some of the craziest things. She felt like she was, she was holding herself back being in this relationship. So that's why she left. Because she wanted somebody that she felt like she could have a family with. And she didn't feel like she could have that with him. So... She had to walk away for her well-being. So let's hear about him. How did he feel about her? He wasn't that attached to her, but he did feel like that she that he can trust her. So that's why he kept her around for so long. Like she just was a person that really just gave him company as far as did he love her i don't really feel that like he was maybe infatuated with her or he cared about her and he enjoyed her company sometimes but it kind of was like she was just there Because he needed somebody to keep his bed warm when he was home.
but he wasn't intimate with her a whole lot because he was intimate with other people so yeah it was just kind of like she was a placeholder and she got tired of being that and he kind of he understands he understands now man i think he understood when she left it was kind of like damn what took you so long what took you so long He didn't really feel like he could satisfy her. At one point, they became mostly just friends. Especially when his attentions was elsewhere. Like he was more I mean, emotionally attached to Lee than he was her so when he he just he kept her as damn what they call it it's not arm candy but i don't forgot what they call it they call it something when a gay man oh beard a beard whatever that means <laughs> all right y'all i'm gonna wrap it up here and stay blessed